Now move on to underwater breaststroke. By surrounding your body with water, you can tell instantly when something is slowing you down. If your pull is too big, you'll feel the resistance. If your kick is too big, you'll feel the resistance. If your head and neck are not in line, you'll feel the resistance. On a sunny day, you can use your shadow to see the resistance. See if you can keep your shadow moving at all times. Make adjustments until you and your shadow flow smoothly down the pool. Your senses are heightened underwater. So use this drill to feel where the water is stopping or slowing you down. The more narrow and streamlined your body, the less resistance you'll feel. Try to keep the hips involved as much as possible. There's a tendency to let the hips go a little flat underwater. The goal is to adjust your stroke so that everything keeps moving forward. Use this drill to work on economy of motion. From fingertips to toes, you want to end in a perfect, pointed, streamlined position at the end of each stroke. Use your shadow to check your position.